Good morning, everybody. So I've had a lot of people ask me, what do you eat in a day? Um, and I thought that it was a really interesting question. And, um, you know, I, I eat a lot of variety. And so what I'd like to do is take a few minutes, uh, take you through my entire day and show you what I eat in a day. So if that sounds good to you, stay tuned. So what I like to do when I'm planning what I'm eating every day is I like to imagine that I'm one of those people that does meal prep every Sunday and has all of my food ready for the entire week. Well, I'm not one of those people. I've tried and tried and tried and the best I can do is put leftovers in a container for myself. So um, usually what I do is I'll open the fridge and I'll just pick something that looks good to me. Uh, today, yogurt sounds good, so that's what I'm going to have, and um, that, that'll be my breakfast. So the first thing I do is grab my breakfast, eat that. I try to eat it within 30 minutes, and whatever's left over, I get rid of. Um, and then I always fill my water bottle so it's nice and cold for 30 minutes after I'm done eating. Because remember, I don't drink 30 minutes before or 30 minutes after I'm done eating. And that is because you want your stomach full of your nutrients and not necessarily full of your water. So hydrate between meals and then leave eating to, you know, mealtime. So you only eat during mealtime, no drinking, which is why it's important to eat things that are on the moist side. So instead of chicken breast, chicken thighs. So let's get this day started. So my first choice today is Oikos Triple Zero Greek Yogurt. I have not had the salted caramel flavoring yet, but it sounds really delicious. And here's your nutrition facts. So what my nutritionist has said is count your protein, count your liquid. That is what are, where I'm at in my journey right now. Protein and liquid. I don't count anything else. I'm aware of how many calories I take in every day, and I am aware of how many carbs I take in every day. However, protein and liquid are the only things that I am counting. So here you go. This is what um, the Oikos, is that how you say it? Oikos triple zero, so zero fat. Um, I don't know what the triple zero is for. Let's see, zero sugar added, zero artificial sweeteners, and zero fat, and 15 grams of protein. So I start with that, and then after breakfast, I've already had 15 grams of protein. The next thing I do is get in my freezer and fill my water bottle. So getting in here, putting in tons of ice. I love ice cold water. And just fill it up. Sometimes the ice doesn't fit as well as it should. Oh well, we'll just throw that one on the ground. And that one on the ground. I'm gonna have a lot of cleanup after this video. All right, I think that's enough. Let me go ahead and fill it up with water. So I don't fill all the way up because what I have learned is that my lid doesn't fill fit on it if I fill it all the way up. And then what I do is I go into my pantry and I get my me put in the wrong spot. My Miralax. I put one serving of Miralax into my water every single day just to keep regular because I do take iron pills, the iron supplement, and that backs me up and it's terrible. And so this is pretty um, 
tasteless, colorless, odorless, all the, all the lesses. I can't taste it in there, it dissolves really nicely. And then I go over to my flavor drawer. See, we've got all the flavors and for some reason we keep batteries in this drawer too. So, lemonade sounds good for me today. Here you go, Mio. There's tons of different types of sweetener that you can do, or just water flavorings that you can do. I haven't had much water yet today, so my mouth is sticking together, so it's hard to think. And then this is a 20 ounce water bottle, and for my liking, I usually do four second squirt. One, two, three, four. See, boom. Put that away, put my lid on. And we've got our first 20 ounce water for the day. Now my goal by my nutritionist is 64 ounces of water every day. I rarely get to that goal, but we'll see how I do today. So I mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it, mix it. And then I just wanted to show you what it looks like after it's mixed. The Miralax is mostly gone. There's a little bit on the edges, however, I can't taste it and it's and I can't feel it. Um, there, it's not grainy or anything. So uh, it works really well for me and I just throw it in my flavored water. Now what I have found is when I eat, I still like to use these baby spoons. Now, this one, it doesn't have like the best texture to it. Um, I don't know if you can see necessarily the texture in there, probably not but it doesn't have the best texture to it. I wish I would have bought metal ones or hard plastic ones. This one is more, see, it does, you know, and so the texture is kind of weird. Um, but what I really, really, really like about the baby spoon is that I eat smaller bites. Uh, Cause I have a problem with overeating, especially if I like something a lot and I like the taste of it, I'll just like shovel it in. So, Having the baby spoon does two things. One, it gives me smaller bites, and two, it reminds me, oh yeah, you're supposed to be taking smaller bites. And so I'll slow down. If I get to the point where I'm really starting to just eat my food as fast as I can, I will get up and walk away from my food. Now, I'm trying to eat all of my food in a 30 minute setting, and then getting rid of whatever I don't eat. And so a lot of times I'll leave about an ounce of yogurt behind, um, but today I'm hoping I'll eat it all because um, I just need the protein and I've been getting it with my protein powder, which is okay and it's fine, but I'd really like to get the protein in with my food uh, first and use the powder as a secondary. And so that's one of my goals today while I have you guys here uh, watching me what I eat in a day is trying to figure out how to get all my protein in in one day with my food. So I wanted to show you guys the Berry-tastic app that I use. Now I used to use my Fitness Pal and I really liked my Fitness Pal. And it has a lot of really great key features in the free portion of it. I never did the paid version of my Fitness Pal. Um, when I first had my surgery, I did my Fitness Pal and Berry-tastic at the same time, just to see which one I liked better. And for me, in my situation now, I like the Berry-tastic app better. It is a free app, um, so all the features I'm gonna show you are free features, so let's get into it. So today I don't have anything um, recorded yet today because it's, it's the beginning of my day. Um, so even though it's 10.40 a.m., I still haven't eaten. I got kind of a slow start to this morning and then started on Facebook and kind of went down a couple rabbit holes. But a few things that I like about Berry-tastic as far as tracking my food is you press the plus sign down here and then you can choose one of the things you'd like to log. So I always go into log, da uh, my daily log. And so right now, like I said, it says zero everything. So I'm just gonna log the yogurt that I had this morning just so you guys can see what it looks like. So you click on add food. And then I haven't had this type of yogurt before, this flavor specifically. So I'm gonna do barcode scanner. And then what it's gonna do is it's gonna scan and then it's gonna tell me what I had. Now, sometimes I come across something um, that says that 
um, it's not in their system or it's wrong. So for instance, this says that one container is 120 calories and 15 grams of protein um, and 10 grams of, uh, and 14 grams of carbs. So I'm looking at the nutrition label on the yogurt itself and on the yogurt itself, it says 100 calories, 10 grams of carbs, and 15 grams of protein. So I think what is going to happen is I'm going to have to add this by myself. So I'm going to hit the back arrow, and then I'm going to go to um, search for a food, and I'm going to go Oikos, triple zero, salted caramel. Okay, so we go down here and we look for the right one. And I'm not, I'm actually not seeing it, which is odd because I literally just scanned it and it was in here. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna quick add this food and I'm gonna go Oikos, triple zero, salted caramel. And then it'll ask you for um, the nutritional value in the product. And I'm going to fill in all of it, even though it says it's optional, but I like to have the information for myself. So the total carbs is 10 grams. And then the total fat is zero because triple zero. And then the protein is 15 grams. And then we'll go to uh, sugar is five grams. And then the fiber is three grams. And then we're gonna do that. And there you go. We've got triple zero. It says one NA. And the reason why it says that is because I did not give it a size value. Um, but I know that it's just, it, that it's one. So now I've got the correct, um, nutritional value in there. And so you see across the top, it's got my protein, my carbs, um, both net and total. I keep an eye on net carbs and try to keep it under 20. But like I said, my nutritionist at this point is only worried about protein and water. I just like to keep an eye on it. Then you've got um, sugar and then exercise. So exercise, it says 13. Um, since I put on my uh, Apple Watch this morning, I have burned 13 calories, which isn't very much, but I'm planning on moving a lot more today and I have a workout plan for this afternoon. So moving on, you, go, you swipe it over and then you can see a pie graph of what you've eaten today, which I really like. So you've got your breakfast, your lunch, dinner, and snacks, and then you can add in your water. So another thing I really like is if you click on add food, you can go down to where it says um, recipes, and you can create a recipe. You put your recipe name in, how many servings there are. You can type in um, just the different items that are in your recipe, or you can barcode scan them in, which is really nice. So I really like the recipe feature. And then um, another thing that I really like that I wanna show you, I'm gonna go all the way back to the home screen. So another thing that I really like are reminders. So I set these reminders up and it helps me drink my water and get my water in. So right now I have zero water in, it's almost 11 a.m. And my goal for the first goal today is to drink 20 ounces by noon. So, um, and I haven't eaten yet today either. And seeing as how I'm not supposed to drink 30 minutes before or 30 minutes after my meal, I have to choose which one to sacrifice. Do I sacrifice my food or do I sacrifice the water? Um, so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do yet, but. I've got drink water. As you can see, you can add protein shakes. But what I really like is you can, I'm going to click on the protein shake, add new. And then you click on the arrow next to protein shake and you can actually change it to anything you want. So you can delete it. And this can be, um, it can be, really could be anything. It could be exercise. It could be um, squats. Maybe you wanna set a timer and do squats once an hour, or maybe it's walk around the block. So anyways, you can set those timers, which I really, really enjoy. Um, and I think that's a cool feature on this app. 
So I have my time to eat. These are meals. So 8.30, 11, and 5. And then I've got my snacks. Um, and so I do like to have snacks throughout the day because my meals are so small. My meals are generally about four ounces and my snacks are generally around two ounces. And so I, um, I, I get plenty of, um, you know, of my nutrients from those six meals during the day. And what I really like is that it doesn't give me time to get hungry. So between my time of drinking every day um, and the different times that I like to complete my water um, and um, my meals, I, I, I really don't um, crave anything, um, which is nice. I did last night. Last night, man, my stomach was a bottomless pit. But I think for the ladies out there, you'll know what I'm talking about. I think I'm going to start my period soon. Um, I've been off um, on my period um, because of the hormones after surgery, but I think it's coming, and I think that's why my stomach felt like a bottomless pit. So those are some of the features I really wanted to um, show you guys. Now, if you click in your, the main menu and you click on recipes, there are some recipes in here that they have preloaded in here. So you can click on protein shakes. And there's some protein shakes that you can look at, or there's some dinner suggestions that are in here that look really tasty. So I do like that. And then if your doctor, your bariatric surgeon uses this app, they might have different things in here, um, like a checklist. Um, so these might be some checklists that your program might have assigned to you, and then you can put in here. My program didn't do that, um, and that's fine. But um, anyways, that's just another thing that you can do. And then from the main menu, what I really like is that you can keep track of your water um, right here at the bottom of the blue portion. Um, so if I click on here and I add water, I'm going to add 20 ounces only to show you guys. It, see how it lit up those first three on there? So that was really nice. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back in here, get that off of there. And, oh, it's not gonna let me delete it. So I have to go into my daily log to delete it. Go down here, delete, delete, and then it's done. Okay, so from the main menu, what is nice is you put in your surgery day. And so it'll say how many days since your surgery, how much weight you've lost and what you weigh currently. And then the um, orange line around the outside is, your progress to your goal and you set your own goal so this isn't a goal that the app sets you set your own goal and then you've got my protein for the day and again something that i set i can go in there and change it but this um, goal the 60 grams of protein is what my um, nutritionist has set for me ounces of water and then as you drink during the day that fills up with that little water line it's really fun and then you've got the pie graph, like I showed you before. You've got it here as well. It has how many inches you've lost so far. So you go in and you, uh, if you click on it, you can add new measurements. And then it walks you through which measurements to do. And then you can also look at where I've lost. So this is where I've lost. So I find this really interesting, um, especially if you look at the bottom right, the neck. I've lost two inches in my neck. That's so Anyways, really bizarre to me. Um, so they've got that. And then they've got what my body mass index is now. And then one thing that I really, really love is the very last screen is either a motivational saying or a tip. So every day it's different. It changes. And I really enjoy that. So I just wanted to show you really quickly uh, the Berrytastic app, because it's one thing that I'm using to keep track and keep myself successful. And in a video where I'm talking about what I eat in a day, I wanted to talk about how I log in a day. All right, so we're gonna start out with my keto bread. I found this the other day. Franz is actually a local um, company, bakery to um, where I live but they do sell this brand in grocery stores. I found this at a Fred Meyer, or a lot of places it's called Kroger. And then here are the nutrition facts on that guy. So I make my food, um, unless it's something hot that I have to cook, I put it together directly on my scale. 
Sometimes I'll put a plate on first and then I'll start making things. Um, but this way I know exactly how much I'm eating. So I'm just gonna eat one slice of the bread, which is about an ounce. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to tear this so it clears it out and it makes it to zero. And then I'm gonna start adding my, a little bit of mayo. So I do the avocado oil mayo. And then here are the nutrition facts on that. And I just do a little, and what I'm doing is I'm planning on making this a half sandwich. So I'm just gonna do this on the half. And so it looks like it's gonna be about half a tablespoon or so, because I didn't put enough on to really register on the scale. So I'm gonna count that as half a tablespoon. And then I'm gonna put some mustard on there, just yellow mustard. Yellow mustard can be used as a great condiment because it basically has nothing. And it helps keep things moist. So, so since I started doing bread, I had my first piece of this yesterday and it was really tasty. I had it with some pulled pork. And since I started doing bread, it's a little bit on the dry side for me, which means it kind of gets stuck or it's hard to swallow. And so what I like to do is add a little bit of condiments to it so that it doesn't get stuck as easily. And then I'm gonna add my turkey breast. So I do oven roasted turkey breast, the pre-sliced stuff that you get at the grocery store. And then here's the nutrition facts on there. And then I'm gonna do two ounces of turkey breast. So remember, I like to keep my meals around four ounces. So I'm gonna do one ounce of the bread, and then we're doing two ounces of the turkey breast on my bread, which actually is, feels like it's going to be a lot, especially since I'm only making a half sandwich. Oh yeah, that's gonna be a ton. It's gonna be really tasty though. Dang, that's a lot of meat. Oh, look at that. What is that, five slices, almost exactly two ounces. And then I'm stealing some of my daughter's cheese. So she loves the pepper jack cheese, so I'm stealing some of that. Here you go on the nutrients on this guy. And then I only wanna do an ounce, so I'm gonna, again, I'm gonna tear this. And when I'm all done, what I'll do is I'll go into my bariatric um, app, my Berry-tastic, the one I showed you guys earlier. And I'm gonna go into the app and I am going to go in and log each one of these elements separately. So here we go with the cheese. Here we go. So it looks like it might be, oh, there you go. There's about a half an ounce. So that's a, just under half a slice of that cheese. So this will be my lunch today, guys. We went out to sushi tonight and my daughter was absolutely horrified that I was gonna videotape and talk to everybody. So she made me videotape and then do a voiceover later. So this is what you get. Um, so what I do when I eat sushi is I remove the meat from the sushi, which obviously I'm having a very hard time doing while I'm holding the camera to record this. Um, but I take the meat out and then I leave the rice behind. So quite often, my eyes are bigger than my uh, stomach, um, very likely in this case, um, since surgery. Uh, so the first one you saw was uh, the imitation crab meat. And then now you're watching me pull apart um, some shrimp, cooked shrimp on the top, some imitation crab meat, and then some um, cucumber there in the middle. And I don't eat the rice, like I said. So I pick it off and pull it to the side. And I'm actually amazed at how much um, rice goes into sushi, but I'm also amazed at how full I get just eating the insides of the sushi. Um, it ends up being a lot of food for me, especially since, uh, you know, I've had the surgery and my stomach is so small. So quite often when I go to get sushi, um, I get 
probably a third as much as I would have gotten before surgery, but there's always a lot left over too. Um, so usually I get to take some home, which, you know, isn't necessarily a bad thing because I love sushi and sushi is, um, and it's just super yummy. So to have leftovers is wonderful. And then, so the next one that I end up grabbing as I'm trying to watch the sushi go around, um, while I'm doing this is, um, there's some raw tuna on top of there and some jalapeno slices and the raw tuna and the jalapeno sauces are super yummy. And then again on the inside, because no sushi is complete without uh, adding some uh, imitation crab meat. Uh, so you've got the imitation crab meat and then again, some more cucumber. Um, so like I said, just leaving that rice behind and um, eating the meat on the sushi is uh is what I do. I did go to sushi a couple weeks ago and I ordered without the rice and they basically gave me a hand roll without the rice. However, um they're very confused by it and it took forever, you know, when you go to a sushi place and they serve you su sushi um as it comes around to you, uh your family is done eating by the time your meal gets out of the kitchen. So, I decided I'll just find something that's on the sushi belt and then I will go from there and then just pick it apart because I like everything that's on the sushi belt. I just um, don't eat the rice. So for me, I just feel like it's a big waste. And, um, you know, like I said, my eyes are quite often bigger than my stomach, especially nowadays. Uh, so just, you know, picking it apart takes me a few minutes. Everybody looks at me like I'm a weirdo, but then they steal my rice anyway, so that's okay. And this is what I had left over, and I ate it for a snack later. Okay, so now it's time for a midnight snack. Well, it's not midnight, it's about 9.30, but um, just got back from my walk, took a quick shower, took all the stuff off my face, um, and I'm ready for my last meal of the night. And so I didn't get three snacks in today, but I did get three meals in. So I had my breakfast, I had the sandwich for lunch, and then I had sushi dinner. And then I had the rest of the imitation crab meat um, for a snack after we got home. And then now I'm gonna have a protein shake. So we stopped at GNC because I needed some more vitamins. And I got a three pack of these protein shakes that I think will be really yummy. Um, kind of a dessert at the end of the night. Um, so they have carrot cake and snickerdoodle. And then the one that I'm gonna have tonight, cookie butter. So you know at Trader Joe's we can get cookie butter. I think this will be really tasty. So let me just show you a little bit here. Now it's a little bit higher than I'd like to have it be on the, um, uh, on the carbs, but um, it's okay because I'm not counting carbs right now, right? I'm counting protein and liquid. And so I'm gonna make this now. And what it is, is it's just two scoops of the powder with um, eight to 10 ounces of cold water. So I'm gonna do the two scoops and put it in my blender bottle. And then I'm gonna do eight ounces of water because uh, doing the 10 ounces of water for me tends to make it so that it is a little bit too um, watered down and I like my protein shakes um, either really thick or really flavorful. Um, I got through two of my water bottles today which is not great. Um, I would like to get through at least three of them in a day. I have my alarm to go off in um, order so that I would get four in a day. I did get a really late start at eating. I didn't eat my first meal until about 10.30. So, um, and then I started drinking after that. So I, I did get a late start. Um, as far as my protein shake goes, I do count the eight ounces of water in my protein shake as part of my liquids for the day. And then, um, yeah, so that is, what I eat in a day. Um, it's nothing super fancy or super exciting, um, but it's, you know, it is what it is. And 
I'm full at the end of the day. Yesterday, like I said earlier, I was really hungry at the end of the day. Um, but, uh, but I kind of got over that today. Some days I'll, that'll happen and then other days I won't be hungry at all. So today was just a normal day. Um, I did my workout. I did a, a, like a two and a half mile walk or something like that. Um, so that did burn some extra calories. So I think I consumed around 650 calories today. Um, and then I, with this, I will be at about 80 grams of protein with my, um, with my shake that I have going on here. I'll be at about 80 grams of protein and then about 48 ounces of water. So what I do at night is I fill up my water bottle and then I leave it on my nightstand and every time I wake up, I take a swig. So by the time I get up, I've drank probably about five to seven ounces throughout the night. Um, but I never count that water um, because I'm not really sure how much I've had. Uh, so I just don't count it. So that's, I just consider that bonus water. So anyways, um, thank you for following along. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button. Um, the more likes and the more subscribes, the more people um, I can help with the things that I am doing um, in my journey with uh, bariatric surgery. Thanks guys.